Hello everyone. As you might know to my earlier appearance from out from the curtain, I'm King George the Third. Now, please take a moment to take your seats and take socially distance to COVID-19. Also, this show was completely run by me. Just, I don't know, pay some attention to the peasants behind me. But just know this is entirely my show.
when you got sort of out of hand with a buddy of yours. I may have punched him. It's a blur, sir. He handles the financials. You went to work, sir? Yes! I want to do you to graduate and to then join the revolution. You looked at me like I was stupid. I'm not stupid. So how'd you do it? How'd you graduate so fast? With my parents dying words before they passed. You're an orphan, of course, I'm an orphan. God, I wish there was a word that we can prove that we're worth more than anyone bargained for. May I buy you a drink? That would be nice. While we're talking, let me ask you some tea advice. Talk less. What? Smile more. <laughs> let them know what you're against or what you're for. You can't be serious. You wanna get ahead? Yes. Fools run them out, all wind up dead. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not. Remember this spot. 
fight our estrangement. I'm your man. You'll be back. Soon you'll see. You'll remember you belong to me. You'll be back. Time will tell. You'll remember that I served you well. Oceans rise. Empires fall. We have seen each other through it all. And when push comes to shove, I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love. Every letter 
is that you right for me laughing at my sister cause she wants to pour my hair on I'm just saying if you really love me you would sham <laughs> two weeks later in the living room she's pressing her father's stone face says you're asking for his blessing I'm dying inside as you whine and dying and I'm trying not to cry cause there's nothing that your mind can do my father went his way across the room to you I got nervous thinking what you gotta do Taking his horse by the reins, even red coats, red with blood stains. And I'm never gonna stop till I see him by him up his kind of the remains. I watch me engaging him, escaping him, and raging on my go to France with more funds. I come back with more guns and, and ships. Shit. And so the balance shifts. We rendezvous with Rochambeau, consolidate these gifts. We can end this war at Yorktown, cut them off at sea. But for this to succeed, there's someone else we need. So he knows what to do in the trench, ingenuity and fluent in French, I mean. But it has to use him eventually. What's he gonna do on the bench, I mean? No one has more resilience or matches my practical, tactical brilliance. You wanna fight for your man back? You need your right hand man back. Yo, get your right hand man back. You know you gotta get your right hand man back. I know you gotta put some thought into the letter, but the sooner the better to get your right hand man back. next you've been freed do you know how hard it is to leave you're on your own awesome wow do you have a clue what happens now oceans rise empires flow it's much harder when it's all your call all alone across the sea say they hate you don't come crawling back to me da 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 you're on your own
Year, and I thought, because I got to have free donuts there, I thought, well, I get to have free donuts every show. But I did, but I still enjoyed it. So I said, I'm going to keep doing this. And I'm here, man. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm 10, and I'm from Parkland. And I just, I don't know how I got into theater. <laughs> I just loved it. You were born this way. Yeah, I was born this way. <laughs> This one working? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. So I'm Ellie Fulsiver and I'm 10 years old. I'm not nine years anymore. <laughs> and I started theater because I used to go to Parkland Music Academy and they had like a summer camp theater program. And my first show was The Greatest Showman, even though it wasn't a musical yet. And I was Jenny Lynch and then I loved it and I, I've done it ever since. <laughs> I'm Gabby, I'm 11 years old. Uh, <laughs> I live in Coal Springs, Florida. And the way I started theater is I went to a dance recital and I saw 
people dancing and I'm like, I want to do that. And I did, that's how I started and I heard about musical theater and I'm like, I want to go on stage and perform. Hey Penny, how did you start theater? <laughs> Brother, brother makes him do this time. <laughs> but now he's been in what, like six shows? Because his brother makes him do it all the time? And he's getting much better at it, and he did an awesome job. This, but, um, I have three kids in the show and they needed someone who could rap fast and I've, I've got, I mean I don't have a lot of talents but that's a hidden skill right there. So I was happy to come out and hang out with these awesome kids so I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't say where I live. I live in this house. Yeah, that's my house. My bedroom's over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> my sister's room. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming everyone. Thank you. Have a great night. Oh yeah, okay, so um, I gotta say some closing words, and for Ellie, I'm gonna do a joke. Yes. <laughs> I love comedy. <laughs> Alright, um, so, gotta make this sound really I've been with this cast. I've known all of you for somewhat. Ellie, I know you from Slow Burn, Making It on Broadway. I know you two from Christmas Story. I just met you. <laughs> and same with all of Ellie's family members, and then Reese back there, and Jack's dad. I, I, met I just met them too, they're, they're very good people. Um, so I've been with this cast for okay, uh, a <laughs> week, two days, three days, and I've, I've, I'm really going to miss this because I like performing for people, we all do. We love the driveway! And, you know, and get, like performing it outside is even better because you get to feel that nice wind in your hair. And um, the wind blowing in your hair is really special. Anyway, yes, so it, it's, um, I'm really gonna miss this cast. I'm gonna miss doing driveway musicals. Okay, now time for a joke. So there's this burglar. He walks into a house and he hears a voice that says, Jesus is watching. He thinks it's just a voice in his head. So he moves on. Suddenly, he hears the voice again that says Jesus is watching. Then he looks over in the corner and sees a small bronze cage. So he walks up to the cage and inside's a parrot. He asks the parrot, are you the one who is saying Jesus is watching? Yes, the parrot replies. The burglar asks, what's your name? The parrot says, Clarence. The burglar exclaims, what kind of an idiot would name a parrot Clarence? Clarence says, the same idiot that named a guard dog Jesus. Um, also, I've, I've been doing this joke for four years, but it's still funny, Dad. <laughs> Thank you. Good job, guys. Thank you.